Getting ready to take on your lawn? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, right now save on select gas tools starting at just $149.99. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Imagine relying on a dozen different software programs to run your business, none of which are connected, and each one more expensive and more complicated than the last. It can be pretty stressful. Now, imagine Odoo. Odoo has all the programs you'll ever need, and they're all connected on one platform. Doesn't Odoo sound amazing? Let Odoo harmonize your business with simple, efficient software that can handle everything for a fraction of the price. Sign up today at odoo.com. That's O-D-O-O.com. How's John Michael Smith? How much of a concern is that for yeah. you? I would say I don't know how anybody is, so other than he had an ankle and get an MRI and look at it tomorrow like we do normally. We'll find out more later in the day tomorrow. So there's a long list of people that got injured or had some type of injury. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a lot of people. With Evan, is it the same ankle? Ankle. Is that the same one? Yeah. I mean, we'll, I don't, I'm, in terms of the injuries, Dan, I don't know. I, I just got ankle, ankle, hamstring, Achilles, hamstring, lower leg, ankle, neck. So we'll see. I'll give you the answers when I get the answers. You won't have as yet a choice with John Michael as far as playing him or not. He's going to start and play. But obviously, he didn't have a lot of time. Yeah, he didn't play. He didn't play much in training camp. That's why he played. He needed it. You uh, you were waiting for John Runyon to get back anyway to try to get your whole line on the field together. Now you're kind of. Well, we'll see. I mean, maybe it's just a. I mean, we don't know what it is yet, so we'll, well see I'm how it goes. In the big picture, how important is it for you to make sure you get those guys as a group on the field at least once, right? You haven't had yeah, I haven't had them yet. Yeah, it'd be nice to. Going into not playing, I don't think any of the draft picks. Um, some of the guys yeah, I mean, that. one, I think we're, we've practiced the right way. We have, a, we have 140, 140 plus snaps of more team reps in pads than we did the year before. We had over 500 more team reps when you include OTAs and training camp um, than we did the year before. So in terms of the planning and the preparation, plus we practice against two teams, so that was the, the reasoning, Dan. Um, what did you see from Tommy today? Yeah, go back and go back and watch it. Go back and watch it. He's a competitor. Yep. Is that like Coy do anything for himself with 16 tackles or is that? He was active, yeah. Again, there's a lot of discussions we need to have tonight and over the next couple of days, we've had a bunch of them. Um, but certainly when, when guys play well, you, you go ahead and you reevaluate and make sure you're doing the right thing. You know, again, whether that's the active roster, practice squad, um, those all those decisions will be made. Why did you see? I, I know John Runyon, or, sorry, I know John Michael hadn't played a lot because of the shoulder, but why did you feel like he needed? Because he's a lineman and he needs it. He needs it. You know, offensive lineman. They need to lean on people, they need to pass block, they need to run block, they need to be in the trenches. And the second year guy that, you know, we're counting on being a starter for us and he hasn't been out there. So, the guys that up front that have been out there, you know, they've had a lot of reps, and he needed to get them. Evan needed to get them. Guys that aren't out there need them. Availability is important. In the past, you've kept two quarterbacks, but how much more likely would you be open to keeping a third, knowing that Drew's already banged up, right? Daniel does have an injury history. He's coming off a major injury. Yeah, we've, we've discussed that. We'll discuss it here over the next couple of days, and, you know, again, try to do what we think is best for the team. Would you expect to keep three quarterbacks in this, this? Yeah, I'd say roster decisions right now at 11 o'clock on Saturday night, whatever it is. I'll, I'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow as a staff. The next day, make our decisions. You know, we could release some people tomorrow. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, you're still up in the air about whether Tommy has earned a roster spot? No, I have confidance in Tommy, but I just, I'm not going to get into roster decisions right now, right after this game. You, um, do you have any sense with Drew? Would Drew be, have no limitations or some limitations? In yeah. Drew? Not right now, no. Nope. Where were you at? You said there was some discussion about the roster. Like how many spots were up for grabs in your eyes tonight? Or like yeah, no, I respect the question. I'm not going to get into you know particulars of roster or decisions or anything like that. Um, these guys just played hard, the guys that played. 
I respect what they did. A lot of them competed, you know, 60 minutes. Some played a ton of plays and, um, you know, appreciate those guys' effort. You mentioned the, the change in practice from a year ago. Yeah. Do you see any differences in your team based on practicing differently through training camp? Yeah, I mean, time will tell. So uh, I like where we're at. I think we have good toughness, mental and physical toughness. We still have a week left to go in training camp. I told those guys in there we're still focused on the New York Giants, and you know we'll have a bunch of good on good periods. We'll have another day in pads this upcoming week. Um, what is it? Whatever it is, the first day back will only be the 53 guys because you can't have the practice squad guys out there, so that'll be geared down. But there'll be pads and there'll be competitive periods, and still things we need to clean up. But um, you know I like the direction we're going. With Evan Neal. Uh, this was obviously his first game action. What was your plan for him? Like, how much, how much did you want to have him in the game? Yeah, it was some 20 to 25 plays. He had 21, I believe. So him coming out was more. The he he was or, he was already going to be out. It was 20 when I asked. He was at 21 plays, is what I was told. Okay. So he was right in that sweet spot of what we talked about leading into the game. So it was more that than the ankle. Yeah, the, he was out there before the, the ankle. I just had ankle on here, but he was going to be out regardless. Getting ready to take on your lawn? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, right now save on select gas tools starting at just $149.99. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. The fall is creeping up on us, but we don't have to give in just yet because summer doesn't stop in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You can still get out and enjoy 60 miles of beaches, eat in the South's newest foodie haven with over 2,000 restaurants, and have endless fun at hundreds of attractions. Hold on to that sweet summer feeling a little longer at the beach. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Plan your trip at visitmyrtlebeach.com. That's visitmyrtlebeach.com.